our first episode of Him My Week. episode and uh, not just any episode but our first episode of Pimp My Wheel. This should be epic. I'm super excited. A little bit nervous. Got a small window to pull this off. Had this idea rolling around in my head for a couple years. Last year I really got thinking hard about how I could implement it and then I started looking for somebody's bike. Our first ever Pimp My Wheeler, who would be that person? Turns out the answer was kind of right in front of my nose the whole time, and over the course of the last year, it became abundantly clear as to whose ride I should be choosing first. And uh, you guys all know my good friend Spaz. Well, you know, him and my friend Andy, both the wives, it's been a couple years now battling breast cancer, and uh, they're doing well, they're keeping up the good fight. And, and all that and uh, keeping a positive attitude and uh, the girls are uh, kicking ass and taking no names so to speak so which makes me think we really got to get together and do a ride for uh, maybe do a ride for breast cancer awareness and recently his father passed away and the man meant everything to him and that's where it just really solidified that uh, you know he's done so much for us in the past as far as always having an open door at the garage for us to work on our renegades and, and help me with uh, the builds each year for you guys on YouTube, well, for all of us to enjoy. And, um, you know, he's not much for putting a camera on his head, but he does it anyways to help me get that that different view, you know, to kind of mix it up for the uh, footage. Anyways, it's been a huge help, and he could use a, a positive boost in his life, and I figured that this would be something I... I mean, I, I love to do for him. So, Rhonda and Jake, his wife and his son, um, have been my uh, informants, uh, so to speak, really. Um, I needed uh, some inside help on this one, particularly for scheduling and getting all of this done. Now, Spaz is actually out of town today, so this has all been very meticulously planned and won't be back till the afternoon. The wife is keeping close tabs on him today. She's gonna know where he is at all times in ETA um, as to his arrival home. If we do have any unexpected events occur, we're going to quickly throw everything into the trailer and get the hell out of Dodge because we are actually going to be performing this under his nose in his garage. When he gets home, we're gonna unveil this thing um, and get his reaction for you guys. And I wanna do this again. Like I said, this is our first ever episode because I plan on doing this again. I really wanna surprise people and do some cool stuff. Only one way to do that, and that's by sharing and liking the shit out of this video, right? So get the word out. Hopefully there's a lot of interest in this and I can uh, convince a bunch of sponsors to do it again, you know. Um, that also brings me to the sponsors who I can't thank enough because I wouldn't be able to do this without their help. Uh, like I said, months of work and preparation. And uh, one piece of the puzzle I, I think that's really going to bring it home for them. But we have this made up from our friends at Custom Motor Quad. Hey, this is Guillaume from Custom Moto Quad. It's a great pleasure to be a part of this build. We got uh, the airbox cover, shifters that we can customize, gas cap, throttle levers for uh, Polaris, frame brace and pinion covers for the sportsmen and scramblers. Take a look at this on our website www.custommq.com Thanks a lot. And I'm not going to slip it on the build. I'm going to pretend like we've forgotten one more thing. And uh, yeah, then we're going to surprise him with this uh, this bad boy. And this is uh, a custom motorquad airbox lid billet, custom etched. And as you can see, in memory of Alvin Vanessa there, his father, uh, a beautiful little buck on there. And then at the bottom, etched in actually a portrait of his father so a little bit of a memorial piece that Spaz can uh, carry with him everywhere he goes I think this is really going to hit home and I can't wait to see his reaction to not only the unveiling of his pimped out 
mud built because that's kind of what he wants to do. We've talked in depth. He's had it now for uh, what he picked it up at Bay Marine. Oof. I'd say about eight months ago, maybe. Um, it's already got 2,000 kilometers on it, but it's basically completely stock. You guys will remember that um, we stopped at Andy Brown's and we did a, uh, a tune on it. So basically, other than a tune, this bike is completely stock. Lots and lots to go. So we got our trailer right full of parts. Got to get the toolbox. Got to get set up in the garage. We'll get everything ready to go, and then we'll bring you guys back in on it. If I've forgotten anything, um, I think that kind of gives us the context, and you guys can uh, maybe put better understanding as to why the first one I ever did is somebody I know. And uh, I really look forward to giving Spaz a positive boost. I'm really stoked. Really stoked. All right, we're going to be back shortly, man. A few moments later. Last two of the tires to go in here. Gump Gaker is my accomplice. Check out this bad boy. I already took a peek at this. And we even got Jess over there and she doesn't like being on camera. So I want to kind of do these like the old XMR, like the way my 18 came. So we're thinking we're going to run the Outlander. We're going to get the sponsors list on here. It should look really clean and really stock. STM, baby. Oh, girl. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, there it is. We got it all laid out. A smorgasbord of absolutely awesome components for the perfect mud build for our friend. Spaz. You got grease on my good work shirt. Wife's going to be pissed. More grease than the old washer. She loves it. Just loves it. All right, pretty much got everything laid out here. Huge shout out to all these guys, all these sponsors for making this happen. It wouldn't happen without their help, obviously, right? So we even have a little surprise back in the corner from Gator Waders. They decided to provide us with a set of waders for Spaz. Now, a lot of these guys, they, they don't just offer things for the Renegade or the Can-Ams, right? They, they got other brands, they got other products. Um, we were talking about STM. With our primary, we got a RAID 3P, and we also got the secondary tuner. So that's gonna allow him flexibility out the wazoo to run for any type of setup actually you know what better yet let's hear it from stm dive into the world of stm clutches the undisputed champions of mud crafted right here in america these marvels of engineering offer unmatched adjustability stm clutches are not only the most tunable clutch on the market it's also made from all billet material that sets them apart exclusively designed for atvs they deliver performance that's second to none in a world where only the best will do, STM clutches are the ace in the hole. Experience the difference. Experience STM. SLG, um, they're contributing as well. This is one thing that uh, was a definite. He had to have the SLG pipe. I considered going other routes, but I know that, again, over the years of building Renegades with Spaz, SLG was the obvious choice, right? So we've got the Bomber series from SLG from our good friend Shane, and pretty kick-ass. Well, we've got original mods in on it. Brass knuckle shifters here. Pretty kick ass with the gas cap with the uh, the better O ring, right? Soft winch cable so we can utilize the fair lead, really smarten up the front look of the Outlander. That's going to be really nice. Um, Gardner's Garage was in on it for the old uh, rad plate. This is really going to be uh, pretty sharp. Like I said before, Spaz has got the old license plate on the wall. And uh, this is a, well, this is a hell of a custom touch, man. He just really nailed it bang the color out like it just looks awesome we showed you that we got bay marine in on this kicking us some hand guards donated the box off the 24 because we went with the see-through box there we're going to need that for the aftermarket clutching clearance issues with the 850 box right so fresh belt up there i think these are really going to just help tie in the color bring it up from the top down right we got far mudding coming in clutch we got back rack that's really going to be sharpening up and cleaning up the bike we got rock lights we got halos um, and we even got these rad strips to light up the rad relocate, which should look pretty killer when we get that uh, plate on there. Lug nuts to go with our, our wheels and tires here. Uh, new to you, coming in huge, as always, right? Hey guys, so I want to talk about uh, something else today that we've uh, had a little part in. So I want to uh, congratulate Kevin uh, on the 850 Outlander XMR build. Uh, we supplied a nice set of 30 inch uh, EFX Moto Slayers for him. Check it out and uh, watch these up, up and coming builds. And who knows, maybe yours could be the next one for Pimp My Wheeler.
We did a little custom paint work on some of this stuff here. I've been working away the last couple nights. I just, I, you know, this is just the way I think they should come. She wouldn't be a build properly without a set of mud cutters. Kick ass. So we got ourselves some MSA cores. And we suited them up with a 30 inch. I know this boss wanted to keep his uh, stock floorboards because he's a big fan of how clean you actually stay on the Outlander, right? So we stuck with a realistic tire. The bike is designed for a 30 and I think he's gonna love these. These are about two inches taller than the stock cryptids that come on the bike. So also I had them on the Sandman and the guy was a huge fan. I think this is gonna come together uh, pretty quickly actually because uh, I'm no stranger to how these can amps are built, right? I guess there's really nothing left to do but jump right into her, man, and we're gonna transform this Outlander quick. So stay tuned, boys. And I almost got ripping into this thing without really occurring to me, and Jake said maybe we should fire it up. The stock system, give people before and after. We know you guys all like that. Exhaust system, really not that much. Not much to love about it. It is nice and quiet, and I know a lot of folks will definitely appreciate that. This is off uh, the new 24. Just kind of a nice little solid upgrade. Takes two seconds. Look at how fast we can do this one. Check that out. These small things though, like this one's just kind of, I don't know, plastic, eh, yeah, Jake? It's kind of flimsy. Yeah, so this is a small, you know, he didn't want the risers. Well, it's not that he didn't want them. He's always questions them when I put them on and doesn't think he needs them. So we didn't go that route, right? This is tailored to the way we know the Spaz would like his ride and the things he'd like on him. Again, after months and months of prying and, and conversations. Easy my hands, my hands. Easy my hands on it. Yeah. Okay, well, as usual, folks, GoPro really screwed me there. So I got started into it. It's been about an hour, eh, Jake, I think? Um, it was using one camera, thinking I could follow all the lighting and do that with uh, my old GoPro 5, but we just had a freaking file just go corrupt. And I've lost the last 40 minutes. Lost three files, actually. Well, almost three. It was 40 and change. There were 20-minute files each. But who cares? That's here nor there. GoPro screwed me once again. They're pretty infamous at doing that. So uh, what have you guys missed? I had Jake over there working on pulling that floorboard and getting the clutches exposed for me. I've been meticulously working away on the wiring portion and I have the lights just about nipped up. So I've got my rock lights all in place underneath, got my bracket set in, um, run everything up through here, everything located under the seat as per usual. Um, rad strip, we got the halos, I've got them stuck in place on the front and wired in. So we have one rad strip left to do. We're about to pull off this cover. This one here, we just tucked up in underneath. I've just tucked this one up in there and I didn't even have to remove anything. It was just, it was a little bit meticulous, but there's enough room on the fan shroud. So I wrapped it because it was almost the perfect length of these strips, which are right here, right? So this is the second one. This is all I got left to do for the lights. Did I mention that we pulled the stocks? So I got the stocks here ready to be buttoned up and stashed away. We wrapped that baby up so we don't lose that one way bearing on the, the stock primary. So I think I'm pretty well good to go here with the clutch install once I finish up the lights. I appreciate you stripping all that for me, buddy. That saved me some work. But uh, next step was pulling this plate. So I think we're going to do that. And we're going to take a look at how we want to mount the other rad strip because I really wanted to get it above the radiator to really accent the uh, the Spaz from Gardner's Garage, right? So just about to pop those out and uh, let's do that. Picking up where we've left off inadvertently. So this, this Brad plate. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to shim it up or not, Jake, because I really wanna get that, that strip underneath it and we'll zip zip. I've got. Just didn't feel like it was seating in there very nice, but could be a little bit. I think this just literally, yeah. Okay, so. This is the last one. So let's start, we'll flip it and let's start zip tying it in place. I think that's our first step, right? So it's having a bit of an issue. I got to shim it up too far, but I like this setup. So what I'm going to do is remove one rivet. You got seven of them here. Trust me, this thing is overly tight. And then with the pressure, I can slip underneath. And I think it solves all problems. It's gonna not only provide more tension and retighten this up just as tight as it is now, but it's gonna allow me to get this strip down underneath this plate and uh, 
keep this concept because I want it to look really clean. Again, this bike's gotta look stock. Can't have the rad plate sitting up like three inches or anything like that. It just, it's just not right. So this is what I come up with. Let's give her a try. So first things first, remove the rivet. Just gonna provide a nice little buffer for us and let's see how this is gonna play out now. If I can get this down there. We still have to zip tie all this, which we're gonna do. Are we winning or are we losing? Let's see. Yeah, no, this is meant. It's gonna work. All right, we'll be back. Hey Joe, thank you, I appreciate it. This is Eric from Farm Money. Fred and I run this together. Wanted to say thank you to you and Spaz on part of your build here. Showcasing some of our LED lighting here is on the X3, as well as some rock lights on our X3 here. The Defender has some halos as well as rock lights and whips. We can do kits to complete both. Any questions, shoot us an email at info at or you can always go to our website at www.farmudding.com. The solution's in place. We drilled out the one rivet. We got this all zip tied in. Jake, if you want to throw that fuse in the fuse box, let's take a look at our lighting. I didn't install a switch because I didn't want to go drilling in Spaz's new plastics. Again, I know he just wants to keep this thing looking as stock as possible. Right on. That looks pretty killer. Man, you should see these halos, Jake. Oh my goodness. Our rad strips couldn't have worked out any better. You guys gotta see this. Top and below. Look at this, this is awesome. And then we got our rock lights in place as well. And everything is hooked in together and runs off the same Bluetooth box. So when we get the app downloaded, we'll have to get Spots to get it on his phone and at the unveil we'll get something going actually maybe we'll download it on one of our phones so we can have it doing something when spy shows up because definitely we gotta have this thing blinking or doing something aj eh, just to to make it pop yeah go ahead set the rad plate in place and see uh it'll kind of give you an idea guys just to look at that if you know what i'm gonna even go a step further and we'll, boom oh yeah this is gonna be insane he's gonna love this he's gonna freaking love this all right, we're gonna nip up this plate and uh, we'll be right back here. Well, actually, I guess we might as well just keep these with us. This should be pretty darn quick, I think. Yo, Spaz, a few months ago, Joe reached out to me, asked if I'd be willing to help out with the new uh, build. And of course, I was happy to do so. So I hope you enjoy the new rad cover. If uh, anybody's interested in any rad covers or speaker mounts, Renegade footwells, just let me know. I uh, do small fabrication with the CNC plasma machine, powder coating, and you can reach me at Gardener's Garage, Instagram at gardeners.garage, or my email, gardenersgarage at icloud.com. Again, I hope you like the rad cover, Spaz, and uh, enjoy the bike. Take that after. Looking pretty darn kick ass. Pretty damn clean, I like it. I'm happy, right on. We can go back to our clutches and finish that job off. Beast of a primary, beautiful rage. Beautiful rage, absolutely. Yes, star clutches, we'll pack those away. We'll set you down here, give Jake a hand. I'll get rid of these. Set them over on the table's a good idea. Bolt. Pretty kick ass. Okay. Yep, you got her. And then it's going to be the same size. You just want to be careful and keep this nice and clean because this little old ring here, eh? So we'll just set that right here for now, not far away. And then he's going to put that in there. Just like so. Now that will allow me to crank the old primary down. You're almost there. And gingerly seat that back up. Nice rubber plug. Slip that baby in around our beautiful STM clutches. Now this one you're gonna to torque up to 40, 45 in between. You're pretty good in those range. And you're gonna to wanna to use a little blue Loctite. Just by spinning it and riding that belt on up there, everything's closing and doing what it should. 
Now we've got our Loctite, blue Loctite. We're going in. One more for good measure. We are done. Give it a little rev up there and let's see it go up and down. We're good. Right on, we're just removing the back rack here, so we're gonna tackle that next. Rock and roll. All right, so we've got the back rack pretty well stripped down, as far as I understand. I think I have to, uh, for that rack, I think I have to remove these two brackets and then place them on the rack first and then bolt them down. So that's what I'm gonna do next is get these bolted. Perfect, you guys are in, you guys are in. We're in. All right, these old 13 mil, we got this thing strapped down to the brackets. We're basically at the time where we can flip her. And me and Jake are gonna set her into her final resting place. This should be pretty killer. We're gonna have to wiggle our bumper back just a little bit, I see. One, two, three. Okay, all right, me and Jake got the back rack bolted down. We still have to uh, situate our box. We do have some double-sided Velcro. Um, for time-wise though, I think I'm just gonna strap it down with some bungees for now, plus it's just the extra security anyway. So we picked up these little black bungees. We'll get that set in place, and I think the next thing we're gonna tackle is that exhaust system. So yeah, bear with me. Jake, take us up, would you, bud? We're just making some room. We're gonna move in on this exhaust system and get the SLG in place. So I'm gonna knock out these two real quick. Jake will sweep in, take that tire, and set these aside here. And then we're going to one up here and get the rest of that out. And then we're gonna loosen up the clamp here and we're gonna get this thing out of here, right? The SLG is even easier because it's just a one hanger right back up the top utilizing the same position, right? So are we gonna get that lucky? Yep, 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 that was pretty good actually. Uh, helps when you're working on a semi new bike and I didn't even lose any skin, just about. <laughs> There's my system. Jaker's feeling a little under the weather, boys and girls. I just got over mine and now he's getting sick. But, you're a trooper bud, you're sticking her out with us and I appreciate that. Okay, so, i feed that in there nice and easy. Sliver that over top, nice and easy. And you can tell right away, because of this tab and these two flanges back here, let's give you guys a shot of that. These two flanges here and the way this is shaped, that this is gonna mount on the outside and on the inside. Otherwise, that's gonna interfere with it. It's pretty simple, just one, and then we're gonna reuse one of our exhaust bolts. I suspect we're not gonna have any exhaust leaks. I am super impressed with the way this bomber looks on this bike. What do you think of that? He ever did a killer job on the uh, powder coat match. Like it just looks bomb diggity. I see no reason why you can't fire it up right now, Jake. And let's get a little sound uh, profile. Hold on to your hats, boys. I got a feeling this is gonna pack a punch. Insane. This thing doesn't even sound like an 850 anymore. Pretty stoked. All right, we get to move on to uh, one of my favorite parts. Tires. Wheels. Let's do it. Oh yeah. So big shout out once again. I've said it a couple times. I know you guys get sick of hearing it. Should you come down some? Yep. Yeah. We're just gonna find our, our sweet spot and that is it. And we'll hammer them home. Rock and roll. Yeah, tires are on. New new tires. Kicking ass. These things look awesome. They look absolutely awesome on there. Ridiculous. What are we left with, Jake? What are we left with? Not a lot. We can uh, 
Look at that. Grab that cap, buddy. It's a really hard Classic. lip, and then in there you have a little tiny, but it's really thin rubber. You can fold that really. Yeah, I really just don't like it. And then you get these big rubber O-rings with the original mods, and I just find this is a is a great insurance to. Uh, Plan on going gas tank deep. Yeah, well, this is it, and the gas tank does go under a lot as you're water wheeling, even when you're not in very deep water. If you're standing it straight up, down and bent, that's going to be under the water. So. Hi, I'm Sean, and this is Kim. We are the owners of Original Mods Design. All of our products are machined in-house out of billet aluminum and finished with high-quality prismatic powder coat. Our strong and robust handlebar risers will stand the test of time and are unique to the market. We're thrilled to say that our products are on thousands of bikes across North America. We have dealers in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Ontario. What makes us unique is our dedication to high-quality standards and excellent customer service. We are honoured to have our products featured on so many amazing builds. Find us online at www.originalmodsdesign.com. I like you. Oh, is that ever smartened up the look? Bringing the tan through, and then when we get the hand guards on here. Awesome. I'm excited. Okay. Gonna bust these bad boys free. I think we're gonna see if we can't free spool this winch out. That's something else that's gonna happen. Happen. like that. Ow. Oh yeah. This cable's all chewed up too. It's just the end of it from plowing. Oh, Jess is here. Well, this doesn't sound good. What, what's the matter? Well, you got your doubts or what? I'm, I'm, I did what I could. Yeah. With what I have. Well, that's, that I have. that's all we can ask. Oh my, that looks cool. All right, that turned into a bit of a chore, a little bit of a nightmare. Young Jake and I wrestled this for a while. It turned out that that winch cable was so snaggled in there, I had no choice but to pull that winch. So it was a little more extra work. Things don't always go as planned, but I've got the soft cable all started. I'm gonna slide that winch in and then I'm gonna run the cable out just because it was a lot easier to work with uh, feeding it through the spool. Well, we had it out, so. Cleaned up a little bit around the uh, the old fair lead and we're pretty much ready to slide the winch back in and get to uh, buttoning up this fair lead. Man, that turned into uh, a good half an hour of cursing and swearing, but hey man, it's all gonna be worth it because this says Angler's gonna look killer. Okay, after all that pain, after all that pain, we're gonna get this bolted up. Oh yeah, exciting. Okay. everything okay fair lead in place looking pretty kick-ass oh yeah that ever looked nice nice okay we'll wind that up and then we're good to go Fired up at the most inconvenient times. So this is most certainly gonna allow Spaz to get a revenge if he so chooses to. But yeah, that looks so much cleaner on the front of this thing. Very stoked. We can move on to the hand guards and then we'll put the plastics back on and this thing's wrapped up. Been popping and playing and prying with this here and you can see that this little cap has got to come out. But she's kind of glued to the rest of the grip. There we go. Okay, I think I sort of have this figured out. I've pre-assembled. Slide that in like that. Oh yeah, we're cooking, we're cooking. Going on. Yeah, she's just gonna be tight is all. Okay, and then that's gonna sit like that. I believe we hooked these over. Did I already put one in there? I did, okay. So that's gonna go over like that. We're gonna need one of these guys. Size. I think so. 
Oh yeah, oh we're cooking here. I'm liking it. So I'd say we're good there, we're good there, and we're good there. How are we looking? Pretty badass, I'd say. <laughs> Kick ass, gotta clean them up, got dust all over the place. Jess came back with the side panels. Pretty cool. We couldn't print all the graphics because size-wise stuff like that, but she's decorated up the side panels and I think they look awesome. So I think Spaz will agree. I'm sure of it. I think I got her licked. All the add-ons are on. Feeling pretty good about it. Gonna really enjoy the rest of this pint now because I think this is looking pretty dope. Pretty dope, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. And he should be home within the hour, so we are absolutely just in time. A couple things set me back, and that's just how it goes when you're doing these things, right? So, yeah, which one do I want to start with? This this one is the more of the pain in the ass because of this plastic or the rubber that's got to go back under, so maybe we'll start with the shitty one, eh? I know it's a little dark for you guys, but... Bear with me, I'll have this done on a Jeff. shortly and we're gonna be out there waiting for him so this is gonna be pretty killer man. I'm just taking a couple shots of the bite. Man oh man does this thing look ridiculous or what eh? Super pumped super stoked. All right Let's wait till he comes back. We're gonna get some more shots. This will be epic. Okay, welcome back, folks. Rhonda's just given us the heads up. Spaz is around the corner. He's about to pull in. This is gonna be epic. Uh, I'm gonna go outside and wait for him. And uh, yeah, man, kick ass. Woo. Oh, perfect timing. He's here. Hold on. We're gonna surprise the shit out of him here. Oh, you know, just pissing around. How was your day? Not too bad. Not too bad, eh? Remember how we were talking about uh, pimping somebody's wheeler butt? You old pimp my wheeler. It's been a while, eh? Well, I got our first specimen in here, man, so we can get started on her. A little late for it, ain't it? Well, it is a little late, yeah, but I figured what the hell. At the very least, we can start on it tomorrow, but I got it here, and uh, let's check her out. Done a pile to this, eh? Hey? Pimp my wheeler, bud. Oh wow! 
SLG bomber series, fire mud and back rack. As you can see, she's lit, man. Fire mud came in huge for us, man. We got rock lights, halos on the front. I know you love those. Check out their new rad strips. This is just killer, man. Oh, that looks wicked. This should go match your plate, go. bud. Yo, spaz. Awesome, fair lead. Original oh, mods. Wow. We got a soft winch cable on there, and let me tell you, your winch cable Boy, was. I didn't change the floorboards. I like how it's nice and clean. Yeah, I know you like to stay clean on your and this render, color. Buddy. Yeah. Like what you can't see perfect. is a set of STM clutches under there, primary and secondary. You'll notice it says 1,000. We'll get a decal or something to cover that. Oh yeah. But primary and secondary, so you'll be able to spin any tire you want to spin. Wash it sounds Oh, wicked, I know. But check these out too. Hold on, before you fire that up, and you can't hear shit. Got the hand guards on there. Bay Marine threw these in along with the belt cover, right? Oh, wow. And I took the time. We custom painted these. Jake's giving me a hand. We got tan in there. It looks killer, man. I'm really super stoked how it's turned out. Are well, you guys working this all day? Pretty well all afternoon. And everything was supposed to be pretty quick and easy. We did run into a hiccup with the winch cable. It was in the poor shape. I think I've ever seen one. I actually had to pull the winch right out of the bike to cut the damn thing off and get it done. We got the original mods on there, like I said. Got the gas cap, check this out. And the brass knuckle shifters, I know you like them. Oh, Pretty yeah. killer, eh? Nice. Just sharpens up the look of the bike real nice. And Joss even got in there and helped us with a few more decals, oh, eh? Oh, that looks awesome. It does, it looks really clean. I know yeah. you like it to look oh. somewhat stock, right? So, and uh, oh, what, what do you think of the tire well, selection? You picked a better guy, didn't you? <laughs> what do you think but of the tire selection, though, bro. bud? Oh, eh? them are awesome tires for sure. Yeah. Those are what we had on the sand, man. I know you're a big fan of them, yeah. but... Uh, like the XM310s, right? Yeah, man. They're close to it. Yeah, they look really good. You know something, though? I did forget one thing. I forgot one thing. I did. I can't believe I forgot something. Oh, they're in there the whole time. You're leaning on them. Hey? Okay. <laughs> you didn't even notice, bud. No, I was Wait till you cut right. these open. We gotta check these out. Congratulations, Kevin, on the new look on your bike. We also want to give you a pair of our uninsulated swap waiters. Gate Waiters is the number one waiter in the off-road industry for over a decade now. So we know a thing or two about what you need on your off-road adventures. These waiters are cut and specifically designed for riders just like yourself. We know you'll enjoy your new bike. We know you'll enjoy your new waiters. So safe trails and have confidence in every step. Look at that, bud. Oh, wow. Set on insulated. Everybody's got to have a set of these, bud. Especially when summer's around the corner and we're about to cook our asses off. Ugh. Power. I hope they fit. Size 10 regular men's. I like to get, I know you're a size 9, but I always go with a size up in the boots so you can keep a, a, a beat for your socks so when it does get colder. But those are going to be light and awesome. I think you're going to love them, man. I know you're going to love them. Yeah, man, they're super light. They're super soft. Definitely going to have to get a picture of you for the boys at Gator Raiders. And then the old belt that goes around. I'd say, eh? Wow. Yeah. Pretty killer, buddy. Yes, it is. What do you think of the look of her? She looks good, eh? That was phenomenal. Yeah, man. And then uh, I think the only thing we didn't do to it was, uh, hey, no, 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 hold on, hold on one second. I know you're excited, but uh, we can't, we can't take the risk that you might get water in your air box. Water in your air box, oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta have uh, well, you're gonna, well, you have to pull a couple plastics off, but I have a feeling it's gonna be worth your while, buddy. Oh my goodness, Joe. This yep. is wicked. You think? Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, Joe. That's wild, bud. Yeah, man. I figured a little memorial piece for your old man. Something you could have on the bike. Carry, oh, carry with you. Wherever that's wild, you go, brother. Bud. Thanks, buddy. I thought you'd like that. You, hey, that's pretty cool. I'm going to show my wife. Yeah, I bet you do, eh? <laughs> right on, man. Bye. Hey. I think you like that, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, almost made me tear up. <laughs> Kick ass. Got to take it apart, he says. I think we just got to pop the seat in that center panel. It goes right on there, right? So, pretty lickety split. Thanks a lot for the help, Jake. 
Couldn't have done it without you, bud. As soon as weather's nice, it was a little late in the afternoon, we're gonna get out. Okay, what do you think of that? We'll put a little dialect around the edge of it, make yeah. sure she's nice. We don't really, I think we only have to pop the seat and pull that center, that's it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to pull no side plastics or nothing for that. Yeah? yeah. Give the boys a good shot of that. For what sure. Look at that. Let's hey. wait for that on tomorrow. All this, all I can do that too. <laughs> well, we'll take your time and get some dialect on there on oh, both yeah. sides of the gasket, but uh, for sure. I find these are actually most important. Out of everything that's on here, this is a small item, but this gasket ensures you'll never get water in your air box. Right. And, uh, wow, well, hell. Yeah. He oh, offers uh, wicked, he man. offers custom etching and stuff like that. And uh, that's the only picture I had to work with. They took it off the internet, right? From, from the- Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's wicked, Joe. I thought you'd like that, brother. Hey. Wow, that is, that's wicked. Yeah, yeah man. I like it, man. Awesome. <laughs> <That's pretty> wicked, <laughs> eh? Right yeah. on, man. Wow, All right, guys. Well, yeah. we got to get out. We got to get out there tomorrow and check it out. All right, fire it up. I know you want to hear some more of that. Fire it up one more time. Fire it up for the folks. Oh, yes. Man, the lights look killer. I'm so impressed with how the rally turned out. Yeah, I know. Totally, eh? Yeah, buddy. Well, I, I don't think I've done anything different. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to go yeah, ripping with you, bud. Awesome job. Can't wait to go ripping with you. Wow. And we want to do this again, and we're going to need your help to do so, right? So uh, hit the thumbs up. Let us know if you like the video, and uh, throw us comments down below. If you know somebody you think uh, deserves to have their ride pimp, well, here's your chance. Tell me why, right? And yeah. uh, who knows? Maybe the next ATV, time. ATV, pimp yeah. your ride. <laughs> ATV, pimp my wheeler. Next time it might just be yours. Who knows? Cheers, yeah. folks. for a long weekend boys and check out the old the old spaz look a killer buddy looking absolutely killer sounds awesome too always got a buddy at jim thompson chrysler see you on the trail boys